my video for September 22nd, 2018, which is video number 2854, is entitled, My Kingdom is Not of This World. I'm sure many will recognize that saying as what Jesus reportedly said to Pontius Pilate after he had been turned over to the Roman authorities by the Sanhedrin. Like many, I was taught that Jesus was the Son of God sent to redeem mankind from the clutches of the evil ones, the Elohim, over 2,000 years ago. The words are recorded in the Bible. I have explored these things throughout my life. For most of my life, I was a true believer. I believed that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for our sins, thus restoring our relationship with our creator. 2012 was seen by many to be the time frame when the kingdoms of this world would be transformed to the kingdom of heaven on earth. Others are teaching that this world is indeed the realm of dark forces that are called various names, including Lucifer, the angel who rebelled against God. Jesus supposedly said of him that he was a liar from the beginning. Certainly, we do live on a planet riddled by lies at the highest levels of government and religious mind control. To me, that saying is a cop-out. Was Jesus passing the buck? Was he sidestepping the creator's responsibility to be all and in all, which we have also been taught? I have lived my life with the expectation that I would see the promises fulfilled, especially the promise that a kingdom of righteousness would be established on earth. Has my life been lived in vain? <sighs> Once again, I wrestle with the realities, and by realities, I mean the things that we can easily determine by viewing what's going on in the world. Those are the realities, whether, whether physical matter is a reality or not is irrelevant. Physical re uh, reality seems real, even if it's mostly empty space. Okay, I don't want to even get into that. Now, the Sanhedrin, of course, were the mostly Pharisee, Pharisaical Jewish entity that existed uh, supposedly in the first century and the period before the first century after Christ. And, and that's what I mean by first century, because some people don't break it down A, A.D. and B.C. I mean, they just have a continuum, which in a sense makes sense. Uh, but the Roman authorities turned, had Jesus turned over to them by the uh, Pharisees, which were not far, fair, <laughs> you see. They had him turned over by them, and Pontius Pilate washed his hands in the whole thing. He said, uh, they, you, they say you are the king of the Jews. Are you a king? And he says, if, if I were a king, my servants would fight. But my kingdom is not of this world. Now, I don't know that that happened at the, in a time frame that we're told. I don't know if it happened in the location that we're told. And in fact, I don't know if it happened at all. It probably did, I think. But I think there's been a lot of messing with the facts, twisting and, and reassigning certain things, including location. Some say that, that Turkey was really where all of this took place, modern day Turkey, uh, because that's where most of the New Testament was, was written. When the Apostle Paul wrote the Galatians and Ephesians, and these were all cities in and around Turkey, what modern day Turkey is, is. And we have been fed a story, actually more than one story, all of our lives. 
and determining what is true and what isn't true is a challenge. Now, like I said in the blurb, I honestly expected that 2012 at the latest would bring in the revelations of a kingdom of heaven being established on earth. Well, that's, that's why initially I thought Obama might be the one. And now, of course, many are saying Trump is the one. I don't think either or any of them are the one. But what is the one? What is the one to me is the one true God or the actual creator, not Lucifer the liar from the beginning, not the, not the fallen angels, not uh, the Illuminati or any of these other classifications. They are, they are the problem, not the solution. Now, the Illuminati exists. Whether you want to call it that or something else doesn't make any difference. I refer to the Illuminati as the international bankers that have risen to control the world through the monetary system. That's a system of slavery, in case you haven't noticed. And it's a system that's run by people that many of whom are pedophiles. And pedophilia could be the straw that breaks the devil's back. <laughs> I hope it is, but I don't know that. I don't know anything until it actually unfolds because everything is in a state of potentiality. We don't know how things are, are unfolding or will finally end up being. I'm hoping that there will be a kingdom of heaven on earth, but John Panella in the Divine Secret Garden series, he insists that this world is a, more or less a purgatory. He doesn't, I don't know if he uses that word, I don't think he does, but it's more or less a purgatory that we get to try things and experiment, uh, and it's always going to be that way, and the real heaven is some other dimension. It's someplace else, not here. And the only way you can get there is to die. But you're not allowed to commit suicide because that doesn't get you there. That only gets you back here, spinning around in the cycles of reincarnation. That's what he teaches. Now, he, I, I, I would like to have dialogue with him, but his videos allow no comments. There's no dialogue. And in fact, he says in the, and the one thing, he's actually homeless. Uh, I don't know if that means he's living on the street. He's written nine, eight or nine books, and they're published online as well as in hard print, hard copy. So I don't know his situation. I'd like to dialogue with him. There's a lot of people I'd like to communicate with and, and learn more that are presenting viewpoints that are, to me, worth consideration. But what is true? What is true? Is this world just a, a, a purgatory, a trial ground, where we get to determine uh, who we are and what we're going to be? I mean, I, I attended a meeting uh, just last night where they are saying that the calendar is even wrong, that there's actually 13 months all of them having 30 days, and that leaves a time without time uh, of a day and a quarter uh, every year. That's what leap year is about, the quarter, 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 for every four years. They put the four quarters together and add another, another day. So there's 366 days every four years, but it's 365 otherwise. But it comes out to 364. Uh, the, the way that it was explained. There's lots of ideas, folks. There's lots of things, but one thing is certain. This is a planet where it seems that the liars, the politicians, and the religious leaders often gain their ascendancy through deception. And that is the kingdom of this world. Will the kingdoms that break down into nations and stuff 
actually be unified and under a kingdom of heaven? I certainly hope so. And I see my time is up and I apologize for going over again. Thank you for listening and namaste.